And tonight, saving you money. Many of you are having the annual credit card hangover from the holidays. Credit cards are okay, though, if you stay on budget, pay it off every month, and choose a card that pays you back in some way. Tonight, a look at the best and worst the credit card world has to offer. When it comes to credit cards, they are not all created equally. The U.S. Public Interest Research Group got the most complaints about Capital One's card. 21% of complaints were against this card, followed by Citibank, Bank of America, and Chase. Capital One, by the way, disputes the findings. When it comes to choosing a credit card, you do want something that rewards you in return. CardHub gives Frontier Airlines credit card the best marks for airline rewards. 40,000 bonus miles for spending $500. Other cards that reward you miles, travel dollars, or hotel stays are the Barclay Yard Arrival by MasterCard and the Club Carlson Premier from Visa. Slate from Chase gets high marks for balanced transfers, charging you 0% for transferring your debt for 15 months. CardHub says this could easily save the average household more than $1,000 in finance charges while you're paying it off. Best for gas and grocery rewards goes to Blue Cash Preferred from Amex with 6% cash back at supermarkets, 3% at gas stations. Finally, Capital One Spark Cash is good for small businesses, paying you 2% back on everything you buy. Bottom line, owning a credit card is a two-way street, so if you're going to have one, choose a card that gives you something in return. Now, some of these come with some annual fees. Make sure that the fee benefit outweighs uh, the cost there. I have a link to CardHub's list of best credit cards at fox17.com. It's right there under Saving You Money.